I just don't know what causes people to hurt children. I didn't do anything. I couldn't have done anything at two years old, three years old. It was rough. I went from not being with to foster homes to the monsters doing what they did to me to other foster homes to family members that don't care about me. The worst of it was when I was a baby thinking I was getting taken care of by family members and them putting an iron on my back. When I was two, Dear put me on an ironing board and put an iron on my back and then put me in some water. My scar is a triangular shape from like my upper back to the middle of my butt. And if you think about it, a three-year-old, two-year-old baby is only like that big. So iron's half my body. I didn't know how to explain it as a young child. What is that on your back? Uh, a birthmark? But it's not. Who wants to tell strangers, oh, when I was two, my cousins decided to iron me like I was some clothes. Dear said that she was giving me a bath. I complained that the water was too cold. So she turned it on all the way hot and told me not to scoot back and I scooted back. Sarah was supposed to protect me. She was my aunt and she left me in the house with her daughter who hurt me. And I feel like she took their side and it's been 20 years and they can't face back. Dear called this show wanting to clear her name that she didn't do this to me when she did. And it's been 20 years. I don't know why she waited so long. I want to make sure she gets exposed and that she can never hurt another child again a day in her life and maybe get the help that she does need. I might be glad she called the Steve Wilco show to get her back to reality. Um. What I'm a little confused about is why something that happened 20 years ago, why you want to revisit this? Because it's a lie. I'm here to tell my story, the truth. What happened with your cousin? Um, she got burned with water when I was giving her a bath. Did that burn mark that she showed, does that look like it's a pattern of hot water scalding her? It does. That's well, what happened. But I mean, even if that's the truth, what you say, the the burn does not look like flowing water. I, I really couldn't tell what it looked well, it like. Well, it looks like, I mean, I never met the girl, and I'm just watching it, what she showed on tape. It looks like somebody pressed an iron on her back. That's not true. Uh, you ended up going to juvenile. Uh, yes, sir. To jail for juveniles, right? Yes, sir. And how long did you go for? Three months. Three months. When did you find, how did you find out you are being accused of burning your little cousin? Um, she was in foster care. And um, her, I believe the foster family came for a visit or they came to check on her and they seen like the mark on her back. Yeah. And they called us and asked what happened. And what did you say? I didn't speak with them, my mother did. What'd your mom say? She told them what happened. I was babysitting and she got burnt with water. And this is in a bathtub? Yes, sir. Okay. You were questioned by the authorities, right? Yes, sir. Yeah. And uh, you were found guilty? Yes. By the judge? And the judge... He stated that uh, he didn't believe the story that you and your mother told, that the, and this is the judge's words, the burn is clearly and un unmistakably that of an iron. The outline is perfect. That's not true, though. No, but that's what the judge said. Okay. And he sentenced you to juvenile. And he, yes, sir. And your mother ended up going to jail, too. She did. For uh, child neglect. She did. You're not my family. I did not do you that to you. you. I'm not a animal. monster. That's why you are a monster. Jail. This is... I don't have to lie to you about anything. You did. You lied to no, for 20 years. You lied. For 20 years. She sure did not. For 20 sure years, did you not. lied. My child was taken for 20 years. I don't care about your child. I live lie. with this girl because on my back for the rest of because my life. Because of a lie. It does not matter. Well, you shouldn't have did you. what you did to me. I didn't me. do anything to you. What possesses like said, a 13-year-old to, to put an iron? You have to be you a monster. You are a monster. To put an iron on your You are a monster. I'm not a monster. You're a monster. I'm far from a monster. And your mom's you don't the devil for letting you get away with this. What do you remember from that day? I remember her putting me on an ironing board, sorry, sorry. 
putting an iron on my back. That's a lie. Putting me That's in water thinking That's it's going to do something. That's a lie. Putting me on That's a, a lie. bed with bandages on my back thinking that's going to make me that's feel better. That's a lie. Um, you haven't seen your cousin for 20 She's years. She's not my cousin. That's not my family. Family does not do what she did to me. That's period. the point. Don't I didn't do that to you. me. When did you know something went wrong? Okay, I went to work. Um, I got a call like a couple hours later. I got a call over the intercom that there had been an emergency at home and I needed to get home. So I went to the phone and I answered it and it was my daughter's and they said that there had been an accident. And I asked them what and they said Jaquay had got burned with water. So I said I'm on my way right now. So my other family members were there and when I got there she was laying on the bed on her stomach and they had a towel wrapped around her. So I took the towel off and I seen some bubbles on her back. So blisters. Blisters, yes, sir. My mom was a registered nurse, and they but told nobody me what said, to "Hey, do. we probably should take her to a hospital." Well, I should have done it. Yeah, I did. I should have taken her to the hospital. I but our grandmother, she thought that she was a nurse. Didn't you though? And my, the reason why I didn't take her because I was afraid. That's why. What were you afraid of? I was afraid that you're correct. That I would go to jail. Yes, like you're you right. That you would go to jail. Yeah, why because were you I had left them. I left them. I, I left my younger daughters with my younger niece unattended, which was neglect on my part, but I wanted to go to work. I, again, I don't know, and I don't even know the law. And I was afraid yeah. to take her to the doctors because she was, I was. But even, even if you were gonna get in trouble, uh, say e -E, even that you were fearful, wouldn't you as a human being compassionate uh, want to get medical treatment for a two-year-old girl who's just been badly burned? Hi, my name is Desiree, and I'm Dear's twin sister, and I'm Sharon's daughter. And I was there whenever an incident occurred 20 years ago, whenever my cousin got burnt by hot water. And she was coached into saying that she got burnt with an urn, which that never even happened. I was there and she was giving Jockway a bath. And she was complaining about the water being too cold. So we turned on the hot water and told her to scoot back. And she scooted back anyways. And she got burnt with the hot water. She was never burnt with an urn. And we've been dealing with this for 20 years. And it affected me and my family. And I'm glad my sister is there today to clarify her name. I just wonder if that's proven today that it never even happened. Was your sister charged? No. She should But have she been. was there, too. It, she how, never how, was charged. How come she wasn't responsible, either? Exactly. I, I got blamed. this monster put the I iron got on my back. Her sister for, just, just held me down. down. She so should have been in there, too. Trouble, she that. came here today and took a lie detector test, and we asked her. Right, uh, regarding Jacquay, did you burn her with a clothing iron that day? And she answered no. Regarding Jacquay, are you lying that she was burned by hot water that day? And you answered no. Regarding Jacquay, did you intentionally burn her that day? And you answered no. The results came back all the same, and they came back inconclusive due to purposeful use of drugs. Oh, that means mean. you lie because you do That's drugs not. like you're But we do have good news. We did get a conclusive test from your mother. She so, wasn't there. She wasn't even there. You was there. You know what you did. She doesn't have to be there. Okay. She doesn't have to be there. Okay. Adults know what happened. Yes, sir. What their kids did. They know exactly. what was said behind closed doors, and they're smart enough to know what causes injuries. I don't know about that one, though. Sarah came here, took a lie detector test, and we asked her regarding Chiquay, do you know for sure if Dier burned her with an iron? And she said no. And the results of her lie detector test is she did not tell the truth. Oh! What happened? She said, I, I didn't tell the truth. Yeah, you did. I don't know anything about you that. Didn't know, I, you did not, you stupid Wait, I, I don't know anything about that. that. I, even though I find you guilty in the Steve Wilco show realm of my stage, it doesn't matter. You did your time. You only have to live with the shame of what you did to her. But I didn't do can't, it, though. You did. Can't go I back, did not. Can't go back to jail for what you did. I did not do that, though. But if though. you really want to clear I your do, name, I do, I did not do it, then Steve. you call I'm me you. when you can stay off drugs for a month. I'm don't just take telling, a puff, I can stay off drugs for a month. We can come back. I took a pill for the plane. I was don't nervous. Pills, I come don't. back and take the test for no drugs, and then prove yourself. When and can tell I come them, back? Get the f off my stage. Uh, 
I certainly hope that she takes me up on my offer, but not, I doubt she's, she's not, not going I to. I need to talk to somebody because here. Because she took countermeasures. I believe that's why she took those drugs. Yeah. Because she tried to beat this test. Yeah. She knows what she did. And I hope they don't bother you with this anymore. Yeah. Good luck Thank to you. Thank you. I was ready. My name is Steve Wilkos, and I'm an investigative talk show host with a law enforcement background. It was my life or his. My job is to get truth and justice for everyday people. Watch our videos now.